Good morning. Today we will study about diagonal relationship in periodic table. What is diagonal relationship? What is the reason for? What is the cause of uh, diagonal relationship? And next we will also study inner pair effect. What is inner pair effect? Define inner pair effect. And what is the cause of inner pair effect? And evidence of inner pair effect. Okay, we will first study diagonal relationship. For example, you draw first this uh, second period, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. Okay, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. Okay, next third, uh, third period, uh, sodium, magnesium, aluminium and silicon. Now, on moving diagonally, see, on moving diagonally across in the periodic table, the elements show similarities in properties. For example, lithium, magnesium. They are diagonally related. Beryllium and aluminium, they are diagonally related. Boron and silicon, they are diagonally related. They show, they exhibit similar chemical and physical properties. Okay, now, why? What is the reason? What is the cause of the diagonal relationship? There are two reasons. Okay, there are two reasons. You first draw this lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium. See, on moving down the group, the electropositive character increases. Okay. Whereas on moving across in the periodic table, the electropositive character decreases. See, here it increases, it decreases. Therefore, on moving diagonally, the two effects, the two, uh, this is opposite, this is uh, the two opposite effects. This is increasing and this is decreasing. Therefore, these two effects, these two effects, partly cancel each other and therefore uh, they exhibit similar chemical, similar properties. They exhibit similar properties. For example, lithium and magnesium have similar atomic radii, uh, um, ionic radii and they have similar uh, ionization potential. Lithium and magnesium have similar ionization potential. Because of uh, these two effects, because of the two opposite effects, partly cancel uh, each other. So there is a diagonal relationship. Okay, now next the second reason is uh, lithium plus, similarly you draw this, beryllium 2 plus, sodium plus 1 and Ng2 plus. You see on moving down the group, on moving from top to bottom, moving top to bottom, size increases because of the uh, introduction of new cell, because of the introduction of new cell, size increases. See, the polarizing power from top to bottom decreases. As we have studied, the, the effective nuclear charge is a small ion, um, so the effective nuclear charge is high. And uh, the polarizing power in Pejab soon we have discussed, please uh, watch the video. Polarizing power decreases, size increases. But, see, if you are moving across in the periodic table, or moving from left to right in the periodic table, size decreases, opposite size decreases and polarizing power increases. See, similarly, on moving diagonally, see, these two effects, these two opposite effects cancel each other, cancel each other. Therefore, lithium plus 1 and magnesium 2 plus exhibit similar properties, similar properties. Therefore, they are diagonally related. This behavior, this results in the diagonal relationship. Okay. Okay, now let us study quickly what is inner pair effect. What is inner pair effect? It is defined as the, it is very very important, it is uh, asked in all the competitive examinations. Uh, so you understand, it is the resistance or reluctance of the s orbital electron, balanced electrons to take part in bonding. You see, uh, for example, p block effect, let us take p block, this occurs in uh, heavy, this occurs among the heavy elements in the p block effect. See, these are three block elements, NS2, N31, boron family, boron, aluminium, gallium, lithium, gallium, NS2, NP2, carbon family, uh, the there are four valence electrons, there are three valence electrons, nitrogen family, there are five valence electrons, carbon, silicon, germanium, uh, tin, lead, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, okay. For example, here, in the case of nitrogen, plus five, and uh, plus 3, plus 5 states are, oxidation states are stable, whereas uh, bismuth, 
plus 3 is stable is only stable, plus 5 is unstable, plus 5 is unstable. Similarly, carbon plus 4, silicon plus 4, whereas lead, uh, the stable oxidation state is plus 2. Because of the reluctance of the uh, S orbital valence electrons to take part in bonding, to take part in reaction. They are not uh, involved in uh, bonding, they are not in the inner uh, or orbital valence electrons are not involved in bonding or in reaction. So, it is defined as the resistance and the reluctance of S orbital valence electrons to take part in reaction or bonding. This phenomenon is called inert wear effect. Okay? This occurs where uh, this occurs among the heavy elements of the P block in the P block level. Okay? This occurs, this tendency occurs among the heavy elements. See? Heavy elements, not lighter elements. These are lighter elements. These are heavier elements. Among the heavy elements in the P block, they are especially occurs in P block elements and also heavier elements. So now you see what is the reason? Because you know you should know the reason. What is the cause of inert effect? It occurs due to the poor ineffective sealing of N2 electron by the intervening D or F orbital electron. Okay. For example, uh, carbon you have down as D orbital, only P. As you go down, D and P, uh, F, orbital, F orbital electrons, electrons are filled up, okay, especially here, 4D, 5D, um, and also 4F, 5F orbital. As you know, D orbitals and F orbitals have less screening effect. D orbitals and F orbitals have less screening effect. Uh, S orbital is having the greatest screening effect. Okay, whereas uh, D orbitals, F orbitals are diffused. Uh, diffused, they have less uh, screening effect because they are diffused. Uh, although the charge increases, see, you are adding electron. You are adding one electron. The, uh, the atomic number, the charge increases. Z increases. However, because of the ineffective shielding by uh, intervening um, D or F orbital electron, this increases, this inertial effect increases down the group because of the uh, poor shielding of D or the F orbital electron. Remember, they are uh, more predominant in the heavy elements of P block element. Now, what are the evidences for the inertial effect? Uh, in lower elements, see, in lower elements, do lower means here, lower elements. Uh, the lower in the lower elements in P block elements, the lower oxidation states are stable. The lower oxidation states. Okay, lower means here, lower, not uh, in lower elements in the periodic table, uh, in P block elements, the lower oxidation states are stable. For example, tallium plus, tallium 3 plus, there are two oxidation states possible uh, because of um, NS2 electrons, valence electrons uh, are not involved in bonding. Uh, Cl plus 1 is stable oxidation state, Cl plus 3 plus is unstable. Similarly, lead 2 plus, lead 4 plus, there are two oxidation states. If it involves all the valence electrons, lead 4 plus. But due to inertial effect, lead 2 plus is stable, whereas lead 4 plus is unstable. Similarly, bismuth 3 plus, bismuth 5 plus. Bismuth 5 plus is very very unstable. Bismuth 3 plus is common. BACL3 or studied. Okay, now let us see uh, another evidence. Bond angles are near 90 degree. The bond angles, for example, as you go down, as you go down, ammonia, uh, it, it uses both the valence electrons, NS2 and NP3. Okay, whereas 170, 170, sorry, 175 degree. We ask Carcinus hydride, ASH3. This is ammonia. You see, 91.8. The bond angle decreases because, um, because of the, it involves only, in the case of SPH3, it is 90 degree, because it involves only the NP3 orbitals for bonding with the hydrogen. It involves, it uses, it uses only NP3 because it is not involved in bonding, the NS2 valence electron is not involved in bonding or not involved in bonding. 
Therefore, the intervals are used only in the mp3 orbitals. Therefore, the, uh, the three p orbitals, px, py, pz, they are not hybridized now. They are not hybridized, they are not, um, they, they, are, they, uh, they are not mixed. Ms2, mp3 is mixed in the case of uh, NH3. Where in sph3 or bh3, it is not mixed. Therefore, the three p orbitals are perpendicular to each other 90 degree. Therefore, hydrogen, hydrogen, therefore 90 degree. The bond angle is 90 degree and it is more stable and it is less stable because of the less bond angle. Okay. So, we are seeing today the diagonal relationship. What is diagonal relationship? What is inner pair effect? What are the causes of diagonal relationship? What are the causes of inner pair effect? And uh, we have also seen evidences for inner pair effect. Uh, these are very, very fundamental. They will ask uh, in various competitive examinations, please understand so that you can answer any type of questions asked in various competitive examinations. Thank you for watching.